Now, people have described their whole house shaking after a small earthquake in South Wales overnight. The European Mediterranean Seismological Centre said a 3.8 magnitude earthquake was recorded eight miles north of the Rhondda Valley in South Wales. That was just before midnight. Now, the British Geological Survey, that's the UK's main provider of quake data, has not yet issued any information, but we've been getting plenty of reaction from you. People taking to Twitter, sharing their experiences. One person tweeted, thought someone was breaking into my house. No, just an earthquake in South Wales. And another tweeted, we've had many earthquake tremors before in Wales, but that tremor shook my house to the core in Ebervale. Denise got in touch with us and said she felt the earthquake in Ebervale too, and whole, her whole kitchen shook. And Bly Nye Gwent resident Matt O'Shea told Sky News his whole house shook for about five seconds. And thanks very much for all of your messages. Keep them coming in. You can tweet me directly at Sally Lockwood or you can con contact us through all the usual means at Sky News. Lots of people getting in touch. Thanks to Phil Jones who said he felt the tremor as well in Monmouth. He said the, the doors and windows shook after a loud rumble it felt like something had grabbed the whole house and shaken it uh, and fatima cook uh, said that near brecon she felt her whole house shake as well um but her husband slept through it well great for him what a surprise hey i'm a light sleeper i definitely have felt it uh, well we can speak more about that with dr john douglas a seismologist and senior lecturer at strathclyde university in glasgow um thanks so much for joining us how significant is an earthquake like this, um, you know, in context? Well, it's it's um, quite a well-known seismic area. It's um, that part of South Wales is one of the highest seismicity areas in the UK. And such an earthquake we'd maybe expect once every year or so. So it's not that much of a surprise or um, that surprise, yeah, that much of a surprise, really. So 3.8 magnitude earthquake, um, considerably um, less powerful than, of course, the horrendous earthquake that hit Turkey um, and Syria in recent weeks. How yeah, do they compare in terms of on the Richter scale? Yeah, so the obviously the magnitude's much less, which translates to the amount of energy that's released in the earthquake. Um, it's many million times less um, powerful than the earthquake in Turkey and Syria. Um, and in terms of shaking, probably many tens of times smaller shaking of the surface. Also, it also um, would have affected a much smaller area. Um, only, you know, only felt within perhaps uh, 20, 30 miles of the epicentre. Now, of course, um, Turkey has seen a number of large uh, aftershocks since that huge earthquake that hit a couple of weeks ago. Um, what is causing these earthquakes? Are, are they more prevalent than, than usual? I don't think there's really any connection with the earthquake in Turkey and the one in Wales. Um, but the earthquakes, the aftershocks in Turkey, it's to do with the um, changes of stress of, along the fault and the neighbouring faults. And that um, causes smaller earthquakes um, releasing that stress. Yeah, so it's okay. quite common to have earthquakes, um, um, aftershocks following such a large earthquake. I wouldn't expect, if there is only aftershocks after the earthquake in Wales, that them to be very, very large. Um, generally, they're much smaller magnitudes. Yeah, absolutely. And certainly, I'm sure there are, there are lots of earthquakes that we don't even feel because, of course, they're much, much, much weaker in this, in this country. Dr John Douglas, thanks very much indeed for your thoughts today. Thank you.